brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Packers and the Cowboys. All that and more coming up next. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we're on the road to the Super Bowl. Today, we have an NFC fighting storm between the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys. Scott, joining me as always, my partner in crime, Brock Heward, and we are excited to bring you this NFL Divisional Round game. Well, uh, excited, the word that you and I get to use, Brock, as do all these great fans in attendance, but for the players down on the field, I think a better word to discuss in this situation might be pressure. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. And he's brought down for a loss. This game has evolved so much over the years, but there's just certain times, there's certain moments, some flashes of greatness like that that you see. Dick Buckets, that you see Jack Lambert, that you see Mike Singletary. These middle linebackers stuffing a run. This guy in particular, like the greats used to do. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's done. They'll come up first and 10. Here we go! Elliott straight ahead. Breaks the tackle, still going. And he'll get it up to the 44. It's a pickup of 11. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Once again, Elliott. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Second and six coming up here. Right back to Elliott now. And he gets it past the 50 and down to the Packers' side of the field. Solid gain of six there. It's going to be third and just a yard. Another carry for him. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. It's after plays like these, Kate, I love to study the body language. What is that offense doing after getting stuffed inside on a run like that? And more importantly, how much does it energize that defense? Shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. He picks up 15 on the play. That's good for a Cowboys first down. Here's a toss running left. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few. He got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Packers are going to have it. And he's going to hang on to that football. That's his first career interception. Now that right there, that is rising to the occasion in the red zone, partner. Could have saved three points there. Heck, maybe twice that with that interception. You know, these defenders, they're willing to bend and bend. These offenses are so good in this league. And Here we go. Here we go. Blue check. Opposite. Green. They'll try and punch it in. And they'll make this stop after a small push to the five. It's two yards on the gain, and now it'll be second and goal. Ready, ready. Punch it, punch it. Look to the two-minute warning from AT&T. The Packers 
eager to get some points on the board. It's second and goal. Let's go now. Love. A lot of speed on it. Too tough to handle. Incomplete. Yeah, I know nobody's perfect. All you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect Ready? those throws of that length Ready? to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. Just something off in the rhythm of the passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back in the rhythm. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Launches one deep downfield. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. Yeah, here we go. Right six. 26. Shotgun snap. Looking to throw. That finds Elliott complete. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. I'm sure coach play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. He had it for a moment, but a complete defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Intended target there was CeeDee Lamb. So second down coming up. Prescott to throw. Falls to the ground, out left, incomplete. The tip definitely broke up that throw. So they're left facing third and long. Yeah. To throw, Prescott. Tried to connect, but it winds up incomplete. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. Third down pass didn't yeah, work, but the offense go. staying out there on four. Oh, they're going for this. It's taken in by Lamb. What a time to rip off that tackle game. All right, gets him the first on fourth down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. And he is into the end zone for a Dallas touchdown. The Cowboys get some late points and the lead. Well, Brock, not sure the play they were running was all that disguised, but with the personnel they had out there, it was going to be tough to stop. You know, this is just a case of who wants it. Yeah, here we go. I 
Third down from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Six guys tackling him to keep him from diving across the line for six. Certainly a second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that. something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Yeah, here we go. Like that. Like that. They give it to him again. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. Far from the first time we've broken down one of his touchdowns in this game, partner. But, man, they seem to get more impressive every time. <laughs> before the play clock hits zero. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Yeah! There we go! What a tag! Here we go, 40. Oh, look at this. He's set up to throw. That'll be complete to Elliott. That's a defense's goal, right, Cake? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. From the pocket, and he can't escape. The Packers drop him, 
And the defense comes through, and that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Now Brandon Aubrey will try to knock it through for the Cowboys. From 37 yards in the right half. Get another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sinking here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly. So the Cowboys take the win here in Arlington. And they took care of business just as you'd expect a one seed to do. And they're going to get to stay at home another week and welcome in another opponent with a conference title on the line. So for Brock Ewer, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.